Hello everyone, my name is Barmani and I'm a child care provider from Cleveland, Ohio. Now if you're watching this video, you want to know how to start a home daycare. Well, I'm just the guy to assist you. Now first of all, you have to decide if you're going to start a publicly funded daycare or a privately funded daycare. Now I have a publicly funded daycare and in order to start a publicly funded daycare, you have to research the criteria specific to the county in which you live. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour of my daycare to give you some ideas that may help you when you begin to start your daycare. Now, as you can see, I'm in my living room. And I have to have signs posted. This, this big sign that you see here, this is the communicable disease chart and you have to have this sign posted and also here here's my board this, this is my bulletin board here I have my schedule my menu here you, there's no guns that are permitted in here there's no um, smoking during child care hours okay I'm going to take you guys into the infant room. Here's my infant room. Now in order to have infants, you have to have a changing table. This is my changing table. Come around here. You can see I have some disposable pads here. And I use these disposable pads to put on the mat of my changing table when I begin to change my infants. I have some bottles of under here more disposable pads. I have an ABC mat. Now this ABC mat, my kids, especially my morning kids, they love to take it, take this mat apart every day. I have to put this mat right back together. They love to play with it and take it apart. Okay. So, now we're going to go into the living room. Well, no, this is the living room, this is the dining room. Excuse me. Here I have some play mats, well, um, some sleeping mats. And when it's nap time, and, or if I have some children, they may sleep over. They, we get the sleeping mats out. Now, this is one of, well, this is my kid's favorite part uh, of the daycare. Is I'm taking you guys into the playroom. Here's my playroom. Here's the bookshelf. I have plenty of books here on the bookshelf. I have Dow Houses here. And where is the other Dow? You see my kids, they like to take the Dow clothes off. Inside of here, I have some toys inside. Now you want to make sure that you have enough toys for the kids. And um, as I, when I was getting approved for the home daycare, that's the thing they check for. They want to know if you have enough space and if you have enough material. And if you don't have enough space and material, that may decrease your numbers. I can watch up to six children at a time, so I, I was able to get approved for all six. And here, inside of here, I have crayons. I have. Um, I have paint inside of here. They come in here and they they mess up. So <laughs> now I'm going to take you to the kitchen. Now, when you have a home daycare, and if you have, and if you decide to, even if you decide to have a daycare center, you want to make sure that the house is child proof. As you can see here. I have outlet plugs, so all the plugs in the house have to have, all the outlets in the house have to have plugs inside. Okay, but we're going to go back into the kitchen. And like I said, everything has to be child proof. I'm taking you inside here. I have some cleaning supplies, so you want to keep those away from children also.
know, kids, they're not dumb. Some, some of them know how to take that off and get up under there, so you have to monitor them, you have to um, supervise them, but every little uh, bit counts. And I'm going to take you here into the bathroom. And again, in the bathroom, we have everything childproof. And I have a little um, stool here for the children. So they can use the bathroom and make it easy for them. Now, I'm not even going to lie. Like, in the beginning, it was kind of rough for me because... You know, I invested a lot of money into my home daycare and I utilized a lot of free advertising such as Craigslist, Facebook, my Instagram, and I wasn't getting any clients. So, it, it, that going through that process was kind of frustrating, but I still, I still kept at it and I was still persistent. Uh, a lot of the clients in the beginning that I got was from references of friends and family members. So, you want to utilize your friends and family members and word of mouth because that could prove to be very beneficial to you. Um, also, you don't want to make friends with the parents. And I can say that I am guilty of this. You know, I'm, I'm, I can be kind of a friendly person and talkative, but when it comes time to crack down on those late fees, you know, a friend is not going to see it the same way as someone who you have a professional relationship with. Um, you're going to want to have a schedule and stick to that schedule because children get bored pretty easily. You know, this is a home daycare. It's not uh, a school, so if you try to set up your home daycare as, as a school and have them sit for long hours and... Uh, you know, that's not that's just not going to work. You want to have a schedule, follow that schedule. You want to have new and creative interactive activities that the children can partake in. I'm single. I'm 24 years old. I don't have any children of my own, but hopefully one day I will. Um, having children in my home almost every day, it took quite of an adjustment for me. The reason why I wanted to start a home daycare is I originally wanted to become a teacher. But after I graduated from junior college, it wasn't very appealing to me to go back to school for another three to four years to get a bachelor's degree. So I decided that the next best and closest thing for me to, to become a teacher was to start a home daycare. And that way I can inspire and teach children. But just as well as anything that you do that's new, it's going to take a while for you to adjust and develop your own little set routine. I know some of you may uh, freestyle th for the whole day, but once you get into your own routine, you'll get better at it. And it, it will be as simple to you, be like nothing. But um, I hope all of you inspiring entrepreneurs and um, daycare owners, whether it's a home daycare or a center, I hope it's, it's successful. And if you like this video, click the like button, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Demetriology, and I hope everyone has a nice day. Peace.